What's going on, everybody? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's going for the latest news. And we, if you're new here, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. We're going to get into Monday Night Raw from last night. Um, not going to lie, Monday Night Raw was not s such a good show. I figured it wasn't going to be such a good show due to the cards, certain things in the cards. But we're just going to point out key points of the show. Um, key points of the show. Um, Jimmy was there. Jay came out. Um, they had a segment promo. You know, Jay was pretty much telling him like, "Yo, I pretty much did everything on my own. Um, I didn't need you guys then. I, not I really don't need you guys now. But at the same time, this new bloodline is, is spiraling out of control, and we we seen that later. Well, not even later within that same segment." Of the night, you know, uh, Jacob Batu and the, and and the, and the Tama Tonga and Tama Loa came out and tried to attack them, uh, Jimmy and Jay um, from behind, but Jimmy and Jay ended up taking them out. Um, they came out on top of that. Um, no solo Sokola in the ring. Uh, I mean, in the arena. I don't know what that was all about. No solo. Um, another key point. Seth Rollins and the big Bronson Reed. They backstage action and um early in the night before that, Seth Rollins promo to to Bronson, big Bronson Reed. You know, um, and then that backstage brawl that they had um was crazy. That was a key point of the night, building up to the match to Crown Jewel. Um, also the key point of the night. Was um what was it uh it wasn't it it just wasn't a good show um my oh Sammy Zing they trying to swerve us a little bit with this Sammy Zayn thing or is they trying to swerve us or is is Sammy Zayn going to join Solo Sokola on Bloodline because he made a point to um Jay um as far as what's um when it came to Solo. That Solo never really belittled him and made us do things we didn't want to do. Tribe Chief from Reigns did, though. But that was that's besides the point. I think with that, you know, because Sami Zayn, he really just popped up out of nowhere. We, we kind of figured he was going to be a part of this. It just makes sense for Sami Zayn to be a part of this. But he, he popped up out of nowhere. You know what I mean? You would have thought... He would have helped, um, you know, Jimmy and Jay early in the night, but he didn't. He didn't help them out um, later in the night. So, um, but they seen him, you know, him and Jay had a little talk. And also, I want to just stop right here and just say my condolences to Rick Flair, Charlotte Flair, and the whole Flair family for, um, he lost his stepson to suicide, man. I'm going to just continue to say this. Like check on your peoples, man. You don't never know what they're going through. Um, I I seen and um when I first seen it, I didn't know what to believe, but yeah, um, I just want to send my condolences and like I said, always check on your peoples. You never know what they're going through. Hell, I be going through stuff myself, but I don't see myself off of myself. But it, it it's it is tough. It's tough. So my my condolences to the flat flam and hopefully they can push through. Um, but yeah, we, um, get back into, um, Monday Night Raw. Like I said, it wasn't such a great show. It was just, like, a couple of key points to point out towards, um, Crown Jewel. Supposedly, um, Dirty Dime had a mystery partner. But we ended up finding out his mystery partner was Damien Priest Senior, you know. But it, I'm so... Like, tired of seeing the whole ju Judgment Day is just not it no more. It's, just, it's weighing its cost. It's just not the same, honestly, without Damian Priest and, and, and Mommy Rhea Ripley in that group. It grew to be, like, real dry and just, they just, they get their ass whooped by Damian Priest, too. Damian Priest keep whooping they, all their asses. Like, every week he's whooping their ass. Um, a quick thing before I continue on with the raw review, I'm gonna 
say it's crazy that um WWE denied um TNA's um offer to put um, AJ Styles in the TNA Hall of Fame, but I'm also hearing that um AJ Styles tweeted about it as well, and pretty much you know buried them buried it as himself, and said he's you know why he's active he don't want to be in the Hall of Fame you know why he's still active. And currently, he's still active with WWE. He just got this um injury thing going, which I don't. We don't know if it's kayfabe or it's a legit injury, and they just like holding off on whatever it is. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out real quick. Like I said, because it wasn't really point much to point out in Raw. What uh, Lip Morgan was out there with um. Raquel Rodriguez, you know what I mean? They was watching Dirty Dead Dumb get his ass whooped. But also, the New Day came up short against, um, you know, with the War Raiders and, um, who else is in that match? Was it the Creed and, the, um, American Pride? I'm not too sure, but they, they came up short again, you know. I wonder how, um, how Xavier Woods gonna feel about them coming up short again. I know he's sick and tired of that coming up short or whatever the case may be. Um, Sheamus and um, who he had a match with? Uh, oh, he had a match with Louis Kaiser. It was a right match, you know what I mean? Louis Kaiser and Sheamus are both talented guys, but nobody really cared too much about that. Along with all the other matches in between, it was just the key points of the match. I mean, of the show was. You know, Jimmy, Jimmy and Jay, <clears throat> and Sami Zayn, um, talking to Solo Sokoa, um, in the parking lot, as you see there, you know, he's talking to Solo, reasoning with Solo, and we don't know what to think of that, because nowadays, it's like they trying to swerve us into, you know, something else, as far as with the whole Sami Zayn Either joining um Roman Reigns and um Jimmy and Jay with this whole new bloodline storyline going on. So I don't I don't know what they getting at with this. Um I kinda like the idea of them trying to swerve us. Because everybody just thought, you know, Sami Zayn was just gonna um flat out join back with the original bloodline that he was originally with. And it's no even, it's no telling um, if he's going to even join. Well, I don't know, man. I don't know what to think of this now. I don't know if uh, Sami Zayn is going to um, try to join Solo um, Bloodline or his original Bloodline. Either way, I know Kevin Owens going to feel some type of way either way. Whether he joins J Jimmy and Jay, you know, and Trap Chief from Reigns, or even Solo and in, 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 in his group. He, either way, I know KO is going to feel some type of way. And hopefully, you know, the way um, the time that KO been on, he don't run into Sami Zayn anytime soon. Because, I don't know. But, like I said, Monday Night Raw was in, it wasn't such a good show. I actually rated a, a six, seven, you know, minus all the key points, you know, leading up into our crowd jewel as far as, you know, Seth Rollins and Big Bronson Reed. But, but, so, and then, you know, the whole bloodline thing. And I'm, I'm also hearing that, um, Obi from NXT is supposed to be making his, his um main roster debut possibly soon rather than later because I already hearing that he been saying his goodbyes to his um NXT colleagues you know um during the last show um which I gotta check out um which I heard it was really so good anyway so I I I'll probably still check it out and give some key points on the show. If I have time to check it out, but I heard the show was really so good, or whatever the case may be. So, um, just like Raw wasn't so goddamn good, it was trash, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Minus the key points with Jimmy and Jay, 
Sami Zayn and Solo talking backstage and 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 Seth Rollins and, and Big Bronson Reed. Um, but besides that, that wasn't really much to cover. R Truth calling P Dunn Butch. Uh, okay, whatever. I love me some R Truth. Love me some Butch slash Pete Dunn, but uh, uh we could have saved that time for something else, man. But yeah, you guys let me know what y'all thought about Monday Night Raw. Like I said, a lot of people feel like it definitely wasn't a good show, minus, you know, the bloodline coming out there and trying to get some get back on, on Jimmy and Jay, but they end up getting their ass kicked. Um, Seth Rollins and Big Boss and Reed uh, had a good back you know, um, backstage fight. Seth Rollins got his ass kicked. Well, they both guys was out for the count. Both guys took some hella damage back there. So, they feel it was definitely picking up to be a, a, a show banger for um, Crown Jewel. I would make that a non-sanctioned type of match, man. But I don't know if they got Tom to actually uh, make that call for the match. Nonetheless, they do, they, um, they do it. Somewhere down, the, they call a match somewhere down the line because they've been having a lot of, excuse me, backstage action and, and a lot of weapon using. As you see, he on Seth Rollins <laughs> called Big Bross and Reed with the curb stomp on top of the car. And Big Bross and Reed got right back up, right back up on some 2K WWE on legend mode shit like what i was like what he got up so i thought he was he thought he he thought he was he thought boston reed was down with that curse stomp on top of the car i thought he was too man i thought he was too but you guys let me know what y'all thought about the show and like share comment subscribe and i'll be back here for more reviews for you guys have a good night